What month comes in between January and February? March. Yeah! And what month comes in between March and April? March and April. <laughs> December. Hey! <laughs> How many days are in January? 24 days. Thunder fire you there. How many days are in March? 30 days. <laughs> How many days are in August? 28. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> Between January and February is what month? There is no month actually between January and February. Yeah. Yeah. How many days are in January? 31. 31. Between January and February is what month? Oh, well, let's say June. Hey! And what comes in between March and April? What comes in between? I learned fruit and all those things. <laughs> What fruit? Oh, fruit like mango. Hey! Then let's say it's pineapple. How many days are in January? Days. Oh, it, 30, 30 days. How many days are in February? February. I learned 31. Chai! Chai! There is God. How many days are in May? Me 29. Mm, I swear to God, you will be hospitalized. How many days are in June? June 31. No. How many days are in July? July is 30. Hey, your foolishness is unpredictable. I can't comprehend. Between January and February is what month? March. Oh, Alejandro. Between March and April is what? May. Jesus is Lord. Between April and May is what? June. Hey. I read my prayer book. Between June and July is what month? August. I don't know about it. I don't know about it. What month comes between January and February? Oh, isn't it? Everything I thought is normal level for about the world you are inside every day. Everything is good. So, what month is between April and May? It be equal. Bruh. How many days are in January? February, December. Bruh. I, I, I think my brain just committed suicide. Between January and February is what month? March. <laughs> Between March and April is what month? March. Then I February March. I will go me. I. Yeah, we go me. May God forgive you. So between May and June? May, June, July. God will never forgive you. What month comes between January and February? January and February. Yeah. No month. There's no two ways about it. Spell March. M A R C H. Spell April. A P R I L. So what is between March and April? Thank you. Very good question. What is between March and April? L and M. <laughs> it's actually the letter R. The letter R. Yes, sir. Okay, 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 okay. okay. What comes between March and April? Okay, okay. Now you know. Yeah. Beautiful. In between January and February is what month? In between January and February. We don't have any month <laughs> in January and February. In between March and April is what? We don't have any uh, month in March and April. Listen! Spell March. Oh, March is M A R C H. Good. April. April is A P. R I L. Good. Good. What is between March and April? What do you mean? Is it a letter or is it a word? Okay, we'll figure it out. No March. Okay, there, there's no letter, there's no word between March and April. Hey, young man. Because March is a word on its own, April is a word on its own. And if you take these two words out, you don't, yeah, there is no word anymore. You young man. Don't let me slap you. There's one thing in between both March and April. Okay, unless you tell me that. The letter R. The letter R. March and April. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Small boys are young. 
<laughs> okay, can you explain to me why you say R? So it's for March. March is M E R C H. Good, 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 good. Now let's go to April. Oh, okay. <laughs> you get it now? Yeah, I get it now. What does RIP stand for? We didn't we put you see. What is the full meaning of RIP? Remember in prayers, I. Eh. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> What instances do you use RIP? Oh, where maybe some brother go pray as well. You say make him pray, give you or something like. Someone has to pray for you. Yeah. You say RIP, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. What does RIP stand for? R I P. I P. I tell you, RIP, my bro. What What do I mean? Okay, so um, mostly we use RIP as rest in peace. Rest in pieces. In what instances do we use RIP? Okay, that means when someone is dead, a relative, a loved one is dead, yeah, we say rest in peace. Correct, correct, correct. What does RIP stand for? RIP. Rest in peace. In what cases do we use um, RIP? Um, when somebody dies. Rest in pieces! Oh, punish you! What does RIP stand for? Um, rest in peace. Rest in pieces! In what instances do we use RIP? Okay, I think um, when you've lost a relative or any friend. Yeah, probably. Let me see your shouting! What does RIP stand for? Rest in peace. Rest in pieces! So who should rest in peace? Um, <laughs> nobody, nobody. <laughs> when do we use RIP? When someone dies. Exactly. What does RIP stand for? RIP. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. Who is resting in peace? The dead people. The dead people. <laughs> so why do you think we use that term like rest in peace? Because until you die, you don't actually have eternal peace on this earth. I don't want peace. I want problems always. So those dead people are those who are really enjoying eternal peace. That is why we use it for them rather. I see. So do you have any shout outs to your friends and family? Uh, for every place for our tour, we are I know for every stupid thing, you know. Yeah, like yeah. I mean do you have shout outs to your friends and family? So uh, my friends and family they have about that means someone put them every place about that means park everywhere for taxi station for their streets for the side about the one or two things for about a year. You know. So if you think about you go if you talk. So you live at the cemetery? Yes. A big for park. You live at the cemetery in the park? Uh, yes. That means someone put them park. So you live like with, with ghosts. Place. We are born at the cemetery. Yes, I stay for that place. You stay there too. Yes. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> so um, I'm Jephtha and I'm actually with Uptown TV and um this rag Ghana and actually you guys should subscribe to their channel it's it's they are really doing a good work and they are really amazing too so guys um do well to subscribe to their channel and a big shout out to iman. uptown tv and uh, iman. iman right here yeah. he's a, he's my boss actually my boss yeah i've been following him for a, a long time now he's my boss so guys remember to um, actually subscribe thank you and uptown tv uptown tv do you have any shout outs or greetings to your friends and family anyone out there all right, uh, my greetings to Colin Sanyomo, who was my assistant school prefect when he went in school. Yeah, my second greetings to Levi Azagzia, he was also my assistant school prefect when he went in school. And I also want to take this opportunity to, to greet all the Greater Accra Regional Second Cycle level institutions. Yeah, uh, warm greetings from the SRC president, Benson Sena de Morgan. Yeah. So you're a school prefect? Yeah, I was a school prefect. Yeah. What school? I completed St. John's Grammar Senior High School. Yeah, and I'm also the Greater Accra Regional SLC President. So you're representing all students in this episode, okay? Yes, please. Don't let them down. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs>